Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Advanced Level Training. So this is our lesson 2 in our advanced training. But it's a lesson 17 if you consider as a overall Tricentis Tosca automation concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we create and how can you execute your execution list by using latest version Tricentis Tosca 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so by end of this lesson, you are going to learn how to create execution lists and then you will be able to link your automated test cases to the execution list and then you can interpret the execution results okay so whenever once you complete automating your test case you no longer need to run in scratch book because in our previous sessions we used to run in the scratch book so running in the scratch book is just to just for the trial runs to make sure your automated test cases will work. But for proper test case execution, the recommendation is to use your execution lists where it stores all the results and history of your test runs. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and understand how can we create and execute our execution lists. So this is my uh, task or tool, right? So till date, we were talking about the test cases module, right? I have already um, teached you about the modules, how to create modules, and then we also worked on test cases. So these two sections, we already worked on. Now for execution, to create execution lists, we'll start working on the new section called execution. So you need to navigate to execution section and under execution section, under execution lists, right click and let's create a new execution list folder. Okay. So basically let's create a execution folder. Okay. Let's name this as session 02 execution create execution list okay create execution list okay under this execution folder again right click and now let's create execution list okay this is your execution list this is your execution list folder okay let's create execution list And name this as shopping cart. Okay, shopping cart. So now, once you create your execution list, now it's time for us to map the test cases that you would like to execute as part of this execution list okay so for that let's drag this test cases folder and put this at the right side okay and now let's go to execution here so let's say i have completed authoring i mean automating the test cases okay so as soon as you complete automating the test cases let's assume uh, session 12 action modes okay this automation is done so that's why what we are going to do, we are going to mark this work state as completed. And also, let's also mark this one also as completed. Okay. And let's mark this also as completed. Okay. Okay. So now, so once you mark the test case automation as completed, now, 
let's say I want to execute the test cases of these two test cases okay for that let's map this test case to the execution list what I created for that you need to drag and drop onto the execution list that we created and then let me drag this also and drop onto the execution list that we created so now if you see we already created both I mean we already linked the two test cases from two different sections right two different sessions so now sorry let me just rename this as okay this is my execution list right so and if you see here if you want to okay if you want to let me explain if you want to exclude any one of these test case right from your execution list let's say you have mapped multiple test cases under this execution list so if you want to exclude one of them right click and then simply you can disable it as soon as you disable it it's going to disable from the execution list see this is disabled again right click and you can enable this okay that way you can enable and one more so that is one thing and let's say if you want to execute or uh, one more thing so one more thing is if you want to refresh or synchronize this particular test case right click here and there is an option called sync see if you here if you right click on your execution list and click on synchronize what it will do it will synchronize your later let's say you made some modifications to this test cases right so those changes needs to be reflected to this execution list so right click and click on synchronize so that will bring the latest updated folders okay so either you can directly drag and drop your test cases or let's assume i want to drag and drop this entire folder you can simply drag and drop your folder also see this entire folder is dragged and dropped and if you want to synchronize this entire folder right click and you can just synchronize this folder so what happens all the test cases under this folder will get updated or synchronized with the latest updates okay so let me delete this one for now and one more thing is let's assume i want to run this execution list multiple times so let, let's drag and drop this folder also here if you want to if i want to execute the test case under this folder multiple times all the test cases under this folder then i can simply select the folder and then here i can specify the repetitions if i want to repeat this as three times i can repeat this as three times if i want to repeat this as four i can repeat as four so that you can set up this repetitions at folder level only not at the sorry and also you can specify at the um test case level but not at the execution list level okay under this execution let's say i want to execute this test case multiple times i can specify repetitions as two or three in the same way under this you have particular folder to be repeated for multiple times you can specify that as well okay so now let's delete this again okay so that is one thing and okay so let's say our uh, we have mapped all the test cases that i want to run as part of this execution list right now if i want to run this i need to simply right click and click on run so that will start your test cases okay and and also okay see it opened the web browser and it started running the test cases okay so we map two test cases it's going to run two those two test cases as part of that execution list so this is my first test case Okay, so it's executed and then done 
and then it's going to start executing my second test case. See, it started executing my second test case. So it might get failed because of some issues with that test case. But however, let it fail also. Okay, I just failed it. Okay, I want to show how can we analyze the test results. If you see here under execution list, it is going to maintain your history. Okay, this is my one run, first run of my first test case. And this is my first run of my second test case, right? If you expand this, see, this C is failed. Okay, so if I want to analyze this, double click on this, sorry, double click on here, and then you will get the details. See, the matching tab was not found. Okay, so this is what the error I got, right? So basically, you can see all the logs of your execution, right? And then if you see log info out of two test cases, one is passed, one is failed. And you can also see what is the start time of this test case, see start time and the duration, right? For this, what is the start time and the duration, correct? I can see that also. And this test case is totally passed. See, I can see all the steps are passed. For this test case, one test, one step got failed. Correct. And if I run this again, what happens? It's going to append new row. Okay. So basically, it maintains entire history of your test runs for this execution list and for these test cases. Okay. And also, let me tell you one more thing. See, for these execution lists, let's say here, okay, let's go to execution list. If I specify any test configurations, okay, so let's go here. Under this test case, let's say under this execution list, I have two test cases, correct? If I specify browser as edge, okay, but the actual test case has configuration as Chrome, okay, let's say your actual test case is as a configuration as Chrome, but if you specify your browser as Edge here, what it will do, anytime, whatever the test configuration you specified under your execution list will take a precedence. It overrides, overrides your test case configurations. So basically, any configuration of your execution list will take a precedence or it will override the configurations that you specified in here okay if you specify if you if you don't specify any test configurations at execution list level then it follows the configuration of your test cases okay hope you all understand the concepts how to create execution lists and what are all the different options that are available to run your execution list and what are all the options that is available to make repetitions, right? You can repeat your execution, test case execution by providing repetitions, right? How can you exclude specific test case from your execution list, right? And then how can you run the test cases and how can you synchronize your execution list so that it takes your up-to-date or latest test cases right all these options you already uh, understand okay so if you have any queries you can just leave your queries in the comment box thank you